In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, find out which part of your code is crashing using breakpoints in Xcode. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Xcode 4, and I'm going to open up a uh, breakpoints project that I've created. And uh, in this project, I've got an array here with five elements. Each element is the word hello in a different language. We have English, French, German, Hebrew, and Spanish. And uh, as you can see here, I've got a bug in my code because I've um, I've out of bounds, I've over indexed my array, if you will. Now there are five elements, but obviously arrays are zero based. So I'm going to just uh, clear that breakpoint to demonstrate what happens without it. Now uh, when I go ahead and run the app in the simulator, uh, we will get a nice, lovely crash. And if we look at the logs, we can see that there's an out of bounds exception, but um, we don't know where it is. Now, Xcode's done me this favor of throwing me into the auto release pool, but that's not really helpful. What I'd like to see is the exact line that the app has crashed. Now, in this case, the app is really simple. There's just one one line of code that I've crashed on, me, and I've only written two lines, so I know exactly where it is. But in more complex situations, this might not be the case. And so I'm going to add an exception breakpoint. And uh, you can specify the language that you want the exception breakpoint to apply to. Um, and you can break either on catch or on throw. Uh, I would leave this on throw because otherwise you can miss uh, an opportunity to interact with the debugger. And then you can also add actions like logging statements or debugger commands. And uh, this is not what we want automatically continue after evaluating because we won't actually want to stop and see where we are. That'll just effectively be the same thing as what we have now. So I'm going to go ahead and click done and run the app again. And this time we've crashed, but uh, Xcode's pointing us at the line that's broken. And I can see right here that we've got an issue somewhere in this line, which is the out of bounds index. Um, the other useful part of this is that we also get a stack trace. So um, instead of landing over here or over here, we actually end up right where we want to so we can see what's going on. That is exception breakpoints in Xcode. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.